Hi, I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a cookbook author and cooking instructor, and I have lots of tips and recipes to make your cooking life a whole lot easier. Today, I'm going to show you how to get collagen from your food, in particular from the bones of fish. We're going to make a stock that's really quick, and then we'll make some delicious food from that. To get this bone broth going, I first start it with a little butter and carrots, onions, and celery. They've been sweating, just cooking in low heat, sweating for about 15 minutes. So now I'm adding some fish carcasses. Now I have about four pounds of fish here. These are carcasses of right. bass. The bones and the heads are what is going to give us this delicious collagen. So right now I want to sweat, I want to add a little bit of lemon juice to these fish and I'm going to let them just sit over the heat and cook for a few minutes. I'm adding a couple of cups of white wine and I'm raising the heat and then I'm going to let that wine reduce in half, be about five minutes. Collagen is what makes your hair shiny and your skin nice and plump. It keeps your bones strong. It keeps your gut really healed. It's really good for all kinds of gut ailments. Uh, it's good for the heart. It's also fish bone broth is especially good for the thyroid as well. So, so collagen in the form of food is called gelatin. And you'll know that you have gelatin in your stock when it wobbles at the end. So you see when it cools down, it's gonna be thick and wobbly. I've added four quarts of water to this and now I'm gonna let it come to a boil and I will skim off the froth that comes to the top and then add some parsley stems. This will just bubble very gently for an hour, and in that time, all of the collagen will be released into the liquid. Make sure to use the bones of non-oily fish, mild-tasting white flesh fish, so this is not the place to use salmon or bluefish or mackerel. Now, one way to get your bones is to just go to your fish store, buy a whole fish, have them fillet it, use the fillets in what you're gonna cook, and save the bones until you have three or four carcasses. Or else, ask your fishmonger if they have any bones. Often they just give them away. Okay. Once this froth comes to the top and, it, and it's about to come to a boil, you want to skim this off. It'll get rid of off flavors and it's easier to skim before you add the parsley. Just take a minute to do that. Lower the heat and add your parsley stems. Barely a bubble for about an hour. While the stock is cooking, I'm going to make a couple of easy fish dishes. The first one is a one-pot fish braise. Really simple and great for a weeknight meal. Right now, I have some fennel here that I've sauteed in olive oil. It's, it's had about five minutes softening up. I just sliced it, and I'm adding some green beans, and I'm going to add some fresh tomatoes, a combination of a whole tomato and some golden cherry tomatoes. I'll let this all stew at a sprinkle of salt, just cook it for three or four minutes. Adding one cup of fish stock here, my nice broth here. And now I can add real thick fillets. This is a kind of dish where you can, you can adjust. It doesn't matter how thick the fish is, you just cook it a little longer. And now I'm gonna cover. Meanwhile, I have lemon zest, parsley, and garlic. That's gonna be my gremolata. I'm gonna sprinkle on it as soon as the fish is ready. Uh, these are ready. Now I'm making a simple fish stew. Everything gets put in the pot at the same time. Okay, I have six cups of fish stock and I'm adding one can of coconut milk, tablespoon of, of minced fresh ginger, some minced jalapeno, I'm using a red one here, three tablespoons of Thai fish sauce. That gives it its nice soft, salty savor. A couple of tablespoons of lime juice and a pound of fish. I have here flounder. I'm going to let this cook for five minutes. The fish is cooked. I'm adding a tablespoon of Thai curry paste. It just gives it this beautiful little spice to the whole thing. Okay. Now you can make this harder by adding rice noodles or green beans and vegetables and make this a one-pot meal. You can enjoy this as a light fish broth. Mm. 